Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, still on my Antrim coastal trip, and we've been joined now by another photographer local to the area, Richard Watson. He's a phenomenal photographer, he is a landscape photographer from what I know him as, but he's also a commercial photographer. And I did a fantastic interview with him actually on the Irish Photography Podcast. If you haven't listened to that actually, I'll put a link in the description below. But Richard has brought us to a beautiful area here along the Causeway Coast and just over my shoulder you can see jutting out here what looks like a nose. Now it's not Dermot that you see hanging down here, it's actually the nose that's in the cliff and it's called the Giant's Head. And what we have then is a lovely rock that's coming out this way and in the distance then as well you can see the Giant's Causeway which is what we were at for sunrise this morning. So what I'm going to do is set up to get a couple of different types of shots anyway here utilizing the distance of the Giant's Causeway, the Giant's Head right here, and then this rock formation that's below me, and then obviously with the moving water as well. Now, what I'm missing right now is light, but there are some breaks in the clouds, so fingers crossed we get a nice bit of light that comes along here and just brightens up the scene. But I'm gonna find a number of different compositions, I think, here, so I'll start anyway with the first one, and once I get it set up, I'll talk you through what I found from there. I think I found my first composition now and what I've had to do is come over further to the right hand side because with the giant's head with the nose that's sticking out it was kind of blending into the background so I wanted to get separation from that and by coming over onto this side here then the nose is going into the sky and pointing towards as well the giant's causeway. I've taken a couple of different shots actually I've taken a standard exposure I've taken a half a second exposure and now I've turned on my 10 stop and I'm going for a long exposure and I'm up as far as one minute and what that's doing is completely smoothing out the water below me I'm getting also some movement in the clouds as they're drifting across the sky and with my composition as well I'm able to have down the left hand side here there's a gully of water with a rock and then coming onto this way here would lead the eye straight up to the giant's head and then onwards out to the giant's causeway. Um, it's an interesting photograph. I hope I get some nice light now that I have the composition. It's just a matter of waiting as always and seeing if those conditions will change. Maybe the clouds will change as well and I might get some dramatic clouds that come over there as well so I may not end up going for a longer exposure but it's definitely a really really nice spot and thanks to Richard for bringing us down to be able to see it because we'd never have found it because it's off the main road above so yeah I'll show you these shots here now and then I'll check back in again once I find something different or if the conditions change Come over to another area here now, I actually took Richard's composition but I decided to go down lower as well in relation to it because I want to get more of the separation of the nose on the giant's head and there is some nice detail as well below here that I wasn't getting in my last shot and also this rock is leading out as well a bit better into the image but I do think yeah, that this will be a, a nicer composition than the one I would have had in the first place. Still not getting any light but we are getting some uh, rain right now but nonetheless still nice to get some long exposures as well from here. I'm on bulb mode at the moment actually and I'm going for 1 minute and 20 seconds and I'm at f11 and my ISO is at 100 and that allows me to be able to smooth the water out completely and then create that image and scene from what I see here in front of me with the movement in the water and then the static element on the rocks. 
beautiful textures as well in the rocks and also on the headland that's just in front of me as well here. Jeremy a moment ago actually was flying his drone and he found some fantastic compositions that are just beyond here but probably no way for us to be able to get there. I didn't bring my drone um, for this trip so I'm not going to get any drone shots but you know if I ask him nicely he might give me a bit. <laughs> so that, that's Dermot last, laugh for yes. So yeah. Thanks Dermot. <laughs> so yeah, that's the next shot I've gotten from here. That's a wrap. What a blade. So that's a wrap. What a great place actually that we found here today. Thanks again to Richard for bringing us here. Um, we able to get some nice shots of this headland that's coming out. Uh, and as I said earlier on, down below here. And then I've also swapped out to my long lens and picked out just the uh, giant's head as well, which I think is a very, very nice uh, shot. So we're going to finish up here now and we're going to continue on along the coast and we'll see where we get to next. It's been really, really good so far. No real light, but like I said this morning, I think the area makes up for that in spades. So thank you very much as always for joining. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.